let's get started. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the pod. We're very excited. It's a special edition podcast because Sam and Seb, that's me. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking in third and second person. We're together and we're drinking gin and tonics and uh, Harry is all coronavirus up in uh, Canterbury. Yeah, it's lots of fun. I'm, I'm not jealous at all. We've got lots of things to cover. We, and we were, we've got lots to get on in the room already, isn't it? It's, yes, it's, it's carnage. We're watching the football while speaking to Harry, whilst Harry's watching the football. <laughs> so hopefully, we're going to release this within at least a day or two of uh, it coming out. So we, let's just make this no editing. Yeah, well, so no one say anything no, risky. <laughs> if we if we're having a under the influence <laughs> podcast, I can't say no. Editing. I have to listen to it. Back. <laughs> Um, so the plan was that I was going to come and watch the final stage, but I turned up at Seb's house with 400 meters to go. <laughs> Great time. This, this is how I like to watch bike races. Better, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. uh, did you watch today's tour, Harry? No. Oh my god, did you're you in for a there? treat. Right, Seb, give us the lowdown because actually, for once, we're kind of on. Yeah. Well, we won't be wearing really set. Well, it's close enough. Some people <laughs> yeah. might not talk about it. Yeah. So stage eight, the Tour de France. I, I didn't watch yesterday's stage. Um, I haven't even watched the recap of what even happened, but um, a lot of the sort of big boys were up on GC, weren't they? And sort of the, the small boys in stature, that is, not in um, quality of GC position, were um, quite low down. So this is the first mountain stage, which was uh, the Colombier, I believe it was. And it was, they were... Colombier? Colombier. Colombier. Colombier is um, absurdly steep. It's oh, is not it? quite as bad. Uh, it's a bit like Von 2 in terms of it's quite open. It's not very switchbacky. It's like it's quite an open top so you can see the person the whole time. And then uh, they finished it and they had a 15K and then a 2K run into the finish. Nice flat finish. So it's like it's not critical that you're there in the main group at the end. And I'll say it was about 35K out. All the favourites were in a group together. Uh, Van der Poel had been dropped. Van Aert had been dropped. Um, the break was up the road. Michael Woods was clear for the stage victory. And then um, I think it was Formula uh, from UAE finished his turn. And then Podge, card, or Podge just absolutely launched with 35k to go solo and only Carapaz could follow. And it was basically just 20k of Podge just time trialing up a mountain twice the speed of everyone else. No one could even <laughs> get close to him. I think within like 30 seconds, the cars were in behind him. He just put so much time into everybody. And I think he managed to close down a five-minute gap on Michael Woods and he actually crested the, the climb because he, he, he launched on the penultimate climb. He's about half the age of Michael Woods. Yeah, he crested <laughs> the final climb uh, with only Dylan Toynes. Dylan Toynes? Deborah yeah. Toynes? Dylan Toynes um, ahead of him. Um, and he had five seconds to catch him. And then what he actually did was rather than taking the wet descent and risking the whole race, he basically was like, didn't cry like it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, I've shown I'm by far the best here. Yeah, so he, I don't need to wave it, my willy anymore. He, he took it tentatively and then just basically pulled um, Woods and Izagiri to the line. In, I think he came second in the end. So he just absolutely dominated the race. He's now two minutes ahead of uh, <laughs> two minutes ahead of Wout Van Aert, who's in second place somehow for the first mountain stage. Mm-hmm. And then I think uh, Luxenko is five minutes back in third place. Yeah, and then realistically for the next GC threat, you've got to look a long way down because there's Carapaz is five three. minutes. Car- Carapaz is... Oh, it's three minutes still. Three minutes have finished no the stage yet, so we can't say how far back yeah. he is. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Cap, Cap turned him in. <laughs> but um, yeah, like this, there's literally just no one. So, And with how this race was raced, it wasn't like Podge had his team set it up or anything like that. He literally just beat everyone. Yeah, he doesn't need a team. He, he just will ride off. And it's not like we were saying earlier, it's not like Ineos and Sky back in the day where they ride really hard and then set three off. He just, how do you beat someone who just can ride faster than you all the time? I say going back to like the, the, the thing, like even Froome setting up, them setting up the stage and then Froome launching, it's like, but the impressive thing about that is Froome would still put like a minute into people on the climb, wouldn't he? Yeah. Like, and that was pretty unprecedented then. It's like he would just absolutely tear away. Rather from than just starting 100k yeah. from the finish. And like grind them away. He would just, he, he was rapid on that last little bit. But So how, I mean, obviously, we are not direct sporties or know enough about road riding and tactics within that sort of peloton and the riders. But how would you go about, is it possible? I say it's from, from stage seven, where 
there is a massive break when and and UAE just aren't good enough to yeah hold the break and like and riders like Nibali are in that yeah playing good yeah great <laughs> <laughs> the cuttlefish yeah. <laughs> um, the nursery shark <laughs> yeah it's um I think that's how it's gonna be it's probably gonna be like a a big flat stage or a rolling stage probably maybe flat stages they can probably control it but it's those hilly stages that aren't mountain stages but they're enough to tie you out but then why doesn't pog just go in the break well, i think you tried <laughs> oh, so if you look if you look at the lantern rouge video they've got a good clip of it on there where like it's like pog at the time he there's like a little gap is like pog probably could have made it over to that break but he decided to let his team yeah try and catch it down rather than showing off too soon but that didn't go very well yeah so i think you might see that then is you might just start seeing pog go in the break why the not them that'd be amazing can. a yellow yeah. jersey with like b and yeah. hotels <laughs> yeah, maybe not a break of that conversation <laughs> <laughs> but um I, I think that's literally I, if he's gonna lose it i think it's gonna be on like a a flat stage or a rolling stage rather than a mountain yeah stage. but he's got enough buffer i think where you don't lose flat stages by that much no but i think a rolling stage yes that's when it's gonna go but like i, I just can't see and the other teams have got to work together because otherwise they're you know Iran's going to want to try and get a top three that's great for him yeah rather than a win or maybe you know you want some riders that might you they want to go for all or nothing well i'll say and everyone left in contention doesn't want to, they obviously want to win it but they don't they'll take they can't a, win it they'll they take, take a podium. podium everyone that's left would you, what about simon yates he'd take a podium yeah but would nah, i think he he'd risk the win I, I bet he's too far down because he's, he's already he's already stage hunting Oh, no, you yeah, can say about the stages over overall. So That's then you like Carapaz, he'd take a podium. Looks like would take a podium. All the people that were there purely to win, like your G's, your Rogers, they're there out of it. Yeah, it's mad. Yeah, and you can show off about your Vela games now if you like. My Vela games? Yeah. What position are you uh, so what in I the world? I don't know now. Oh, I, no, I, probably I know, less. I don't know if it will be as good from today because I don't think my, my team was, wasn't quite as strong, but. As of yesterday, I was 17th in the world. <laughs> and this what? Space, How have you know, done that? Just being great at guessing cyclists. Please. Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, it took me all of a minute to uh, to <laughs> put my team together. And the, the worst bit is I I was I was really torn between um putting Casper Asgreen and Stefan Kung in. And obviously Kung came second in the time trial. So I could have I, I could have had a few more points, but nevertheless, they're still doing pretty good. It's because um, Vanderpoel and Cav were really cheap. Cav was only like oh, you're 19th. No you're 19th. Now. Oh, I've dropped to 19th now. Yeah, so Cav's obviously smashing it up. Vanderpoel's smashing it up. You've got Mollema. Don't you think? Yeah, don't you think Cav though in his last sprint should have disqualified? I saw that and I thought, mm. no, he followed the line. Cav. He followed the white line that was given to him. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that it was at a 45 degree yeah. angle. <laughs> 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 yeah, and, and don't, don't forget, like front on shots condense everyone massively if it was an overhead it wouldn't look as bad no, yeah you... but who was the rider that he set up that he cut across yeah he was a leader man it's fine he wasn't either it was a... that was oh Jasper they're disposable yes yeah, with philipson was it yeah so who, who, who are they riding for? yeah philipson won the first stage for them um melia melia no what was it the other way around melia won the first stage yeah, yeah so by philipson he cut they up to melia and yes but philipson's the one they're trying to ride for now now your team looks good because you got Carapaz, who's going to take some stages now, probably. Yeah. Mollema always wins a stage in the last Matt, week. Like, I hate Matt Mollema. He's the most average rider, the most beige rider <laughs> in the world. But I was like, I've got to have him in there because he's cheap and he's. You got um Crow Anderson. He's going to be I good for he, a stage. He, he he was looking good today actually. Goggle. When um when Podge went past him today, it's like Anderson literally just looked across and just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. No, you've got you've got a very good team. It's looking very good. Then Michael Gogol, I think he's he's the dead one, isn't he? He's not doing much. No, but he might. I think good for a break. I thought Quebecer, they they did so good in the Giro. I think they'll be all right. I was, I was thinking Camping would be good. I was thinking from him, it was like he's the one that's like a bit like Dylan Toons. He's like he's good enough to go in a break and be um, the strong rider in the break. Yeah, he's a winner. Yeah, and um, so I've got uh, O'Connor. I think he'll do it right for some extra points. Kung. He's got some, yeah. something coming to him. Fraile. Mm-hmm. Oh, in uh, his Spanish jersey, wanting to show it, off. From his he's riding for Zenko. That's Zenko, true. Zenko and he's got goes. something in it still. Yeah. And then Cosnefoy. But he was the, of all the support riders, apart from Formolo, um, said the Spanish guy again. 
Oscar Freire. Yeah, oh. he he was the strongest support rider. Oh, so okay. He's the strongest super domestic. Super domestic. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's. We'll see how that goes and update everyone on uh, on our <laughs> our progress. Yeah. But I say up up till today, the tour's been really good. Oh god, yeah, it's been amazing. Like, very exciting for fantastic. all sorts of reasons. The yeah. Ala Philippe win, the Van der Poel win. Yeah. The crashes obviously weren't exciting, but added a they whole were, element. They were exciting. <laughs> they were, yeah, they were exciting. Let's be honest. It's, like, it's like motorsport, isn't it? You don't, you don't watch it. You don't. Watch yeah, it you watch it because of the crashes. You I only do it because of the crashes. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, I only do it to crash. <laughs> Harry, have you heard of uh, banger racing? Uh, yes, I, think, I, ha- I, I might think that's how that, Harry got yeah. coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> oh great! Oh, that's the uh... <laughs> how the wheelbarrow races around. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, awesome. it's been it's been very exciting, and actually, I think it's the first tour where in the in the first week it's obvious who will probably win. Yeah, I'm still really excited to watch it since Nibali's win because of all the breaks, all the potential other stuff that's going to happen. Like, I think the way racing's changed, it's not going to be a procession and then someone goes off and wins it's like still dynamic even though he's five minutes ahead because mm. i hope that other teams will be true to what they say like in your we're gonna attack and give it a go i think gagan hart's gonna you know he's yeah, still got stuff about him to I do think, it i think Ineos and yumbo are the only ones that can do that because they're the only ones that can go into a race really saying they'll only win is the only goal to yeah. win Teams like Astana and Movistar, they'd be like, oh, we want to win the race. But realistically, all they can hope for is a podium. And that's a great result for them. Movistar, so they, I can't wait to watch they, the, yeah. the new series. <laughs> they, can't, they can't really afford to, can they, in that respect? Yeah. No, like even like riders like Gaudu and um, Guillaume Martin. My, sorry, I, I apologise for my French accent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's always great for this like, attack, you know. But the mm. good thing is he's so small that it's like <laughs> Quintana. Speaking of little he's small like, attacking he, he riders, like, uh, most of the time he's doing really well. He he went for it on the Van der Poel day, and the Van der Poel was like, mm, <laughs> "I'll carry on." Did he? Yeah, he attacked oh, first, he did, yes, yes. And then Van der Poel followed, and then just yeah. carried on. But Imagine it's good that. to see him giving it a go, if, though. If Quintana. You, you'd oh be my like, goodness! If Quintana wins, Quintana for the, the Ardennes next year. Naya in green Twitter. Have you seen that Twitter handle? It's so good. He's probably worn it. He must have worn it previously, though. Yeah, but he's made the Twitter the new um, name Naya in green. He's like a fanatical, amazing fan. It's really Love good. Naro. Yeah, does all sorts of funny memes. Um, it's that'd be Naro when he's wearing the cat-like helmet, though, isn't it? The, yeah, <laughs> I remember that once again described as like um, a chicken carcass. Someone took a shotgun to. <laughs> <laughs> the, the cheese grater. <laughs> so yeah, very exciting Tour de France. Looking forward to the rest of that, um, and we'll see who wins. Comes on, come out on top. In other news, in one week's time, where are we going to be, sir? Backpack Wales. A and E. Yeah, we're going to Bike Park Wales for Seb Stagdy. It's going to be. I think we talked about it a little bit on the last pod, actually. Briefly, yeah, but you, you tried on full face live. I probably yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Which has now been taken. My friend Lloyd is um he's 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 using the full face. So. It's now been used. Well, I don't I don't worry about that. I've got one on higher ready to go. It's waiting for me. The thing is though, like obviously <laughs> yeah. great, great. You're you're taking for set, you're looking after your, your safety here, but like would you ever buy a second hand helmet? <laughs> no. <laughs> would you you just hired a helmet? Is it not new? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got... yeah, yeah, they, they've just got literally hundreds of new helmets they throw away. How many times has it been smashed into the floor? Yeah, if it's got a dent, I'll think that I'll get a discount. The pads as well, though, they're going to be nice and fresh. Hmm. That's the end of that yeah. conversation. It's not, there's not much problem, <laughs> <is there? laughs> you, you said you your goal, your goal is to jump, and you're going to jump me. So. I'm going to jump over. I want a picture of me jumping over Seb, not standing up, laying down. There might, there might be an opportunity for that. So every time we pause, it's because something interesting is happening in the Czech Danish game. Many from Denmark, Denmark are all over the Czech. Oh. The podcast can't be us just making noises as they get close. Like live watching. <laughs> the champions. Um, how what have you been up to then, Harry? Apart from having coronavirus. 
Um, not Seb's, a lot. Seb's going for a wee, so you've got to fill about three minutes of good chat here. This is a lot of pressure. Okay, I've got something. I've organised a bike packing trip over six days to Wales and back. No Which way. Took- That's very exciting. So actually, I was thinking I might be... Thanks for the invite. Past- we're going through <laughs> it's only the elite sound you know okay so it's a few uni mates and we're is going it, is it the girls hockey team from canterbury <laughs> it is actually the whole hockey team and then we're going to play hockey at every hockey pitch to wales and back yeah exactly are you actually um no <laughs> we actually are bike packing yeah <laughs> it's 650 miles to and we're gonna go through breckens and then back down past cheddar gorge and then back home oh nice so that's gonna be a laugh so what's your bit... have you thought about kit yet what, how are you gonna do it on the canyon yeah i'm gonna do it on the canyon and i've just bought some uh frame bags so i've got one fat one off the back and then i've got one that sits underneath the top tube and then another small one that sits on the top of the top tube kind of yeah, you know yeah. just behind the uh and then i've got a small sleeping bag a small bivy everything is small that's a common theme and a what you call it sleeping mat and a little pillow and i'll be good to go so this it makes sense actually because when you logged on earlier onto zoom and your video was on you were beginning to grow a beard and now i know why i know it's insulation it's insulation for the rough welsh weather which we will encounter goodbye intervals hello bivy spots is what you're saying oh, well i mean i don't remember the last time i've done an interval uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that's not even a joke i actually don't know the last time i did an interval <laughs> at least four months so but yeah i think it'd be fun i mean i think the first day is a 90 miles second and third day are about 70 yeah and then the last two i think are about 100 110 so it's going to be but there's yeah. the one of the days when we're going to go th- over the Breckens and it's very hilly. It's only about 70 miles, but it's about 9,000 feet of climbing. So Ooh, that'll miles, be that's a, yeah, that's a big day. Rookie. Yeah. So that is the plan. So that is what I've been doing for the last few days. And when are you doing that? Book campsites. Uh, the st- we're going to set off on Sunday, the 18th of July. So what's that? A couple oh, of weeks. Not far so. at all. No. So and then get back on the Friday. So if everything goes to plan, that is. Right, you're going to have to do an Instagram takeover and all you have to do is post two pictures and it'll be better than any of Seb's Instagram takeovers. Well, that's what I I thought you'd say that. I think, yeah, (laughs) it'll be be evident how tired we are as the day goes on, I suppose, yeah. So Yeah, absolutely. You might lose it. You can borrow my GoPro if you want as well. That might be quite good for some good times. What's your recording? Have you bought those videos? No, but I I want to because of the yeah the stuff you've been doing your, with yours like the short little videos and stuff yeah. But I think yeah. there's I don't remember what the climb is called, but there's a a really fat one that's about eighteen hundred feet and it's, I think it will take about thirty five minutes probably with all the weight on our bikes. But I think the descent down there will be quite fun. Yeah. So I'll, I'll definitely get it out for that. You but, should. Um, um, I've never never ridden in Wales, so you should send the um route to Seb's brother because he he lives over near. Wreck some way so he might ride out and meet you one day yeah yeah i can do that they're all on my strava i'll share them but, uh, i think yeah what well, i can't remember where i think first day we go to kind of just outside oxford second day just but i think we're going to go just inside the border and then the next day will kind of be all through the breckens and then next day kind of come out go cheddar gorge and then last day kind of cheddar to Horsham. and then so, are you training back yes nice do you want a, i doubt i'll ride do you want bags he's got bags you got bags he's got bags, got bags. i've missed this i'm sorry i'm late to this he's cycling <laughs> to wales cycling to wales yeah that's pretty cool oh yeah. hang on hang on hang oh, on oh, oh never in doubt never, never in, in doubt. doubt sorry uh, sorry to d- doubt you danes never in doubt that's cool isn't that's it? a great little adventure that's gonna be really good mm. so it's all campsites as well. You want to go off the grid, so that'll be interesting. Yeah, I'm Spread sure I'll regret that. Spread the roan around yeah, Wales we, for a bit. We know your record. We don't don't want to get around. <laughs> <laughs> Super spreader mailer. Lovely. I, geez, I I went to um 
Snowdonia a few weeks ago. <laughs> and I, I took my road bike there. And I, I rode up. So I, we um, went there for four days, I think it was, or like three nights. Um, and then I was with B Dog Dad as well. And we did little, little rides, little like rolling roads around the area as well. And then we actually, I, one evening, I rode up Lamberis Pass. So, like, the, from the village, the bottom of Snowden, not the main one, or sorry, the Clamberis Pass. Clamberis. <laughs> um, yeah, it was lovely. It's like, I, I forgot what like, an alpine climb was like again, like a legit mountain. But mm. no, it's only a, a, a valley. Like Where you top. actually get into it and there's a, it's an adventure. Yeah, it's like a bottom, bottom to the top. For me, it was like a 20 minute climb. <laughs> there was actually an effort. <laughs> but yeah, and then like it was, it was a weird ride. Cause, like, I think it was like 30 miles in the end, but like halfway up, it was pushed up the whole way out, one descent, fly back up, and then it was like a 15 mile descent all the way home. Like a very false flatty. So it's like effortless. It was lovely. Oh, lovely. So, like riding past all the lakes and stuff. And after that, I got a real like bug for a. Trying to, trying to buy a road bike i know so, i saw I've, I've not i've not i've not done it though the whatsapp was lit up Do with a uh, road chat from seb me, me basically annoyed that people don't want to post bikes <laughs> or sell them for really cheap <laughs> yeah well people i think everything's far vastly overpriced isn't it so no other way i'm just looking at the canon still canon is more more than enough although i, I don't know how I, I ever used to do it but like i just fitness is, is is it really, isn't it? Um, but <laughs> I don't know how to do it. What cycle lots yeah, and you'll get yeah. faster? Well, like, just gearing. <laughs> yeah, I've got yeah. four. I've still got my cross gear. It's a forty. Well, my riding around gear, not the racing gear, is it? Like with a eleven forty two on the back, and I am <laughs> using every single one of them up a climb. I, I've noticed that when I when I have when I ride my cross bike on the road, yeah. I'm riding up stuff, and I'm in the granny ring, and I'm like, how could I ever ride up anything less? But when I ride my road bike which has quite big gearing, I still get up the climbs. It's just like, you, it's, your, your brain just tricks you. I, I much prefer, so I don't know if we, we've done this since we did that Blazing Saddles ride. It's like when I were, when I were at Duncton right at the end, I was on my absolute knees and like just crawling up in that gear. Yeah. I was like, I used to, if it got steep, I used to just sort of get out of the saddle. Yeah, to and push just harder. Just, just jump, yeah, <laughs> and, it, and it was fine. And that's how I used to climb. And like, I, I, I like climbing again with some resistance. Yeah, like sort of pedaling rather than twiddling up. up. But I, I couldn't think of anything worse than standing up when I was just sitting there twiddling, yeah. struggling to twiddle. But when it's your only option, like on that same ride, I, on my bike, I was so worried about going up climbs like Ditchland Beacon and Dunkton, which is such a pathetic thing to think yeah. about. But actually, like you said, push harder, it'll be over quicker. So doing 380 watts for five minutes is actually easier than doing 350 watts for seven minutes <laughs> you just get it over and done with if you just go hard just crack up it. on it's not like yeah, get, get, make, make your legs hurt not your lungs hurt sort of thing yeah um it's good practice actually and i've noticed it on my mountain bike i can i push a bigger gear on my mountain bike now because of the road stuff i've been doing i think that's the generally road cyclists go into mountain biking is you're surprised at how low down the block you are when you're climbing yeah because the gears are so much lower and i I've, like today i was doing some efforts up hills and i was actually my i was going much faster because I was choosing to have a bit more resistance and push harder because I know my legs can take it. Whereas normally you feel that bit of resistance. You go, oh, better go down a bit. <laughs> oh, better go down yeah. a bit until there's no there resistance and you're actually <laughs> just stopped. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Harry's going to be using all those gears. Yeah. What, what yeah I, haven't, got? I haven't even got that. Yeah, they're not that small. I think it's a 34, 11. No, 28, sorry. You're finally, so, gonna feel, you're, gonna, you're finally going to feel what it's like going to be riding our size bikes, Harry. Yeah. In terms of weight. I know. Well, also, I don't not know your how much the kids free bike. Be, but it's not, <laughs> it's not going to be light, is it? So, mm. And it'll I'm be very um, swingy, those back ones that come oh, out. What, yeah. <laughs> yeah. what, what, have you got a saddlebag? <laughs> He's got a swinger. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, oh, if you ever remember Ed's Roubaix bag, <laughs> we describe it as like an excited dog. Honestly, like, it was like a swing, and it, his whole body would move side to side, like like, like, like a, a tank slapper, like a spaniel, basically. <laughs> yeah. a hundred mile tank slapper. <laughs> yeah, just cause like it was just like it was in the rhythm of his riding. It was quite yeah. therapeutic to You're watch. Like a TT roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Is it possible to get out the saddle with a fat saddle bag on the back? It just doesn't. You can. I in think your you head, have to be doesn't... quite. Um, yeah. Good you, core. You, you get into the harmonic motion. <laughs> yeah. With it. Until <laughs> it just tips <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah. What's the natural frequency of my bike? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if 
have you got a frame bag? Yeah, I've got oh. the big one that goes under the top tube, then a small yeah. one that goes on top. So with that one, yes, basically, if you like riding with quite narrow, I imagine you've got quite a narrow foot stance as well. You like quite, you keep your knees quite close from your pedal. You graze it inside your knees a lot. Enjoy not doing that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> imagine yeah. your hips, putting your heels on the pedal and riding like that. How far your knees would be out there? <laughs> oh, that sorry, great a, save, great, great shot. Save. Unlucky. That, that's, what, that's what your knees are gonna be like. You mean like a frog? Yeah, I was thinking that. I, I'm not really. I'm, I'm sure I'll just, by the end of it, I'll just be pedaling like a six year old man with my knees pointing out. That's all that will happen. It's fine. I remember so. ages ago though, I did like a little, um, I think it was the Scouts, we did like a little cycling touring. It wasn't bikepacking, it was touring back then. Um, <laughs> trip over to Holland, went to Rotterdam, and I had panniers then, but like I couldn't, if I pedaled with flat feet or like my normal pedal motion, my heels would drag on the panniers. <laughs> so I had to like change my pedal. And like after a while, it was absolutely fine, but like, I, I generally have to like tilt my t- my heels up my backstroke, <laughs> so like it was such a, it was such a bizarre thing to look at. But after a while, that's how I had to pedal. And you sort you get used to it. So I imagine it'd be the same with your knees. Yeah, yeah. I Some of that. the bags that I saw though, just I don't understand how people ride with them. Like the ones that go on your fork. So there's one that goes either side of your fork. Yeah. I just don't imagine how weird that would feel with yeah, an extra five like, kilos. It's slow, isn't it? Yeah. And then I don't really know how the ones in between the bars sit there with all those cables as well. So you just jam, I didn't go jam, for one of them. Jam them in. Um, okay. I've got a bag one though, a, a bar bag, and it, it does fit. I suppose my cables aren't that messy, but it's it does sort of fit there quite well. The gym okay. are coming back with vengeance. <laughs> I just did a very, very zesty burp. <laughs> I've had two and I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I've, um, I've broken the seal early. So I did a Goodwood race, first Goodwood back. Ooh. Great, great to and be back. so bitter about it still. No, I'm not bitter at all. I had a lovely time. Bitter? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really Got good. it, let's go. It was great to actually um, ride it as a, as a cohesive unit. So we actually made a plan. And third cat racing, that seems like a bit of a pointless task. But we came up with a plan because there was eight of us. And there were four of us who were eight. Up. Yeah. In the third cat race. In the third cat race. No, that's, that's actually a quarter of the field. Yeah. So we, um, four of us were like up for getting in a break and doing stuff. And the other guys just wanted to ride in the pack and wait for the sprint and stuff. So that was fine. Um, so we worked out a plan to sort of try and get away and um, attack a couple of people. And then whoever wasn't in the break would then disrupt it. So our, I would say the two fastest riders from our team managed to get in a break, but we, we were attacking the whole time and it was really good. Um, and I got away a little bit and then they got brought back and then the, the one of us got away and then two of us went and we looked at each other and I sort of nodded to Adam, who's, who's the strongest rider we've got in third cats. So he went and chase and that, that was the winning break. And then I just sat second wheel or third wheel pretty much the whole time and just pissed everyone off by just riding behind them. And then when they, <laughs> when they did the old chicken wing to let me, the elbow, I was just like, I'm really sorry, but I can't. And actually, they were really nice about it because um, it was um, Ollie and Stan from GPCC Hunt, yeah. um, who were really decent riders and could, had I helped them, <laughs> we definitely would have brought it back. And in hindsight, because I didn't know it was the end. When it came, I just saw the checkered flag and was like, oh, that's the finish. Next time, I would have tried to get away as like a mini break with them because I yeah. think we could have done that. And one of the guys from RCR, he's good. I suppose it's quite nice though. It's like you've got to be that, that guy who's just like, nah. Yeah. Like, and it was a great workout. You got, you, got, you got to finally be the dick of the pro tour. Yeah. And it's happened to me quite a lot of times that I've been trying to get across or bring it back and no one's been working with me. And there's just some idiot just being like, well, I've got two people up the road. So, and it was still like, if we'd just been pootling along and been like, oh, that's a bit annoying because. You know, I paid this money and I'm not even racing, but actually it was still racing because people were trying the whole time and all the chain gangs or the training I've been doing, it was just a VO2 session. So I, I normalized like 300 watts in the end. Right. So it's still a, it was a decent workout. Race? It was quite quick. It was like 27, I think. Yeah, it's quick. With my gearing as well. <laughs> Genuinely, like... I, I maxed out a couple of times. <laughs> so I'm just like, you look like you're looking at me then. So I'm just like, yeah, it was 27. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, I promise. I'll check. <laughs> um 
no it was really good fun and then um the controversial bit and the bitching bit is because adam our guy won and jay came third but when adam won he put his hands in the air and he got disqualified oh. <laughs> But wasn't it one hand? It wasn't even both his hands. He was put it? both hands up, and then uh, uh, E123s two, got told, don't celebrate like that. And then the guy who won put one hand up and then two hands up and got disqualified and kicked off about it. Yes. He thinks that. Oh, dear. He kicked off well, didn't he? It was quite funny how he said it. Like, he, like, yeah. he didn't care. No. So um, Adam, our guy, was very, was very chilled. And I actually, I know the one of the comms and I was like come on Phil talk to the man because it was Phil doing and he was one of the help people helping the comms and stuff and I was like come on it's just a suggestion it's not a rule yeah I mean the logo's got some the British Cycling logo is someone celebrated with two hands in the air um, but no fair enough <laughs> and, right. and it does say it's their discretion it, and you've got to do it literally defines amateur sport <laughs> yeah <laughs> and British Cycling pettiness yeah um, but no it was really good fun actually and I missed last week's but um, I wanna. I was just a bit. I was a bit gutted because I wish I could have been in the break. But I still managed to do an actual job for the team. And I don't want points or anything. I, I'm not fast at all. If I ever win, I'm putting my hands in the air. I'm getting disqualified. Yeah, hundred percent for the picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I might. I might in do the forty mile an hour crosswinds as well. That's yeah. with eighty mil deep sections on. Yeah. I might do the Van nice. der Poel cross the arms as I finish. <laughs> Just get a set of handlebars out your pocket. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good actually. It was really Just um take your helmet off like a rodeo. <laughs> throw it. Yeah. <laughs> Frisbee. <laughs> um no, it was really good fun actually. It was really safe and there was quite a few teams and people actually riding tactically, like trying to get in breaks and all that sort of stuff. Last week I wasn't there, but um or this week even. There was a crash, so it wasn't quite as good without Any me. DQs? I'm like the uh, Tony Martin of the Peloton, obviously, calming everyone down, yeah. just letting people know what's going how many, on. Um, how many are left and when? Um, there's another one the week after next, because it's Festival of Speed, and then there's four more after that. Ooh, which said we need to enter and I've just be our own team. I'm not in your race. <laughs> No, it's three four. Yeah. The last four, three, four. is three four. I'm definitely not. Doing You're it, not getting out. Of we'll it. do a live You're pod. Oh, we'll take Doctor Five and do a live pod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. I'm well up for that. I'll we'll gaffer tape. We'll attack constantly. I'm going to gaffer tape the podcaster onto my top tube. <laughs> <laughs> Just wind noise. Just shout. <laughs> Pull a turn. Pull a fucking turn. I'll be there to bounce along like. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, with that's happening, you know that I'm 100 percent serious about that. We're gonna do that. Yeah, man. I'll send you. I'm in for the um first one and the fourth one. I'm on holiday for the third one. This is really important. That everyone knows about this. And then the second one is full, <laughs> but there's some places going to come available. So okay. I'm going to enter. Well, I'll I'll enter then. Yeah, it's really good it's with all my with all my bar bags on as well, just because you never have full, too many gels. Full bar bag. Yes. Yeah, you with the bar bags, on... me and Seb on our cross bikes. <laughs> Our aero captain. <laughs> should we? Should we get? Should I, should I design some um, fairings for our canties or some like yeah. profiles to be a bit more aero? <laughs> we'll get them made done in carbon. Yeah. Then we can do it. Um. Yeah. So that's exciting. The Hove Park crits are starting. I'm not doing those because I'm away. They're crazy races. And Guildford Town Centre crit. That's on next week. I think it is. That's such a good race. The vibe of that is brilliant. But again, I'm I'm away for that. But um, yeah, that's the that's the local road racing scene at the moment. It's sort of really getting into full flow. It's uh, Preston everyone's Park. Sort of, everyone's having to back in it, sort of thing. Oh, there's the Curdford Road Race was on. Did you hear about this? The one. I think I texted you. The first Nat B down south. It's the one that the cow got out. On, As a, a there's a lot of crashes, and then a horse joined the race at some point. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got neutralized and then in the seven bridge nat b uh someone crashed into a pedestrian i think and it got um closed i think and stuff that's like that it was the, sketchy it's not the best what was the pedestrian doing walking on the road because that's their own fault maybe looking for their horse yeah <laughs> oh no <laughs> yeah i know historically the seven bridge one's not the best in terms of uh we go to like a tiny little village or something isn't it? yeah oh uh, yeah that's not great Okay. Um, but no, it's, it's really good. It's, there's a real vibe at the moment with lots of lots of exciting things happening. 
Um, speak of exciting things happening, we've got all the new TCC casual merch coming out soon. It got delivered yesterday and taking pictures, getting it all up, ready to go. And we've got some exciting collaborations coming as well, which would be fun. <laughs> which I've I'm, been... I'm like, do we? I'm like, on the down low, been messaging people, trying yeah. to hook, hook us up. It's um, one of them around... Um... Duran Duran and Rigoberto Oran. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, to this day, I still think people just aren't ready for that yet. <laughs> but they should be, because that's the greatest T-shirt we've ever designed. Um, yeah, that's exciting. Any, any other exciting news? You've got Harry Backpacking, Goodwoods, Bike Park Wales, Tour de France is on. I think we've covered quite a lot, actually. It might, yeah. it might be good to do a bit of a shorter pod, because oh, I want to drink more gin and tonic yeah. and watch England beat Ukraine. We have, we have got a time scale, haven't we? Yeah. Um, well, Harry, it's nice to hear your voice. Yeah, lovely to hear your voice, Harry. Hopefully, you can see the outside soon. Yeah, I'm looking outside. That's, yeah, <laughs> it's very depressing. <laughs> <laughs> like old Bob Cratchit at Christmas, looking through. Oh, no, that's the reverse, isn't it? He's looking into yeah. the house. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't do that with the coronavirus, Harry. Don't <laughs> visit people and look in their <laughs> windows. Looking like, they look healthy. <laughs> 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 you look very healthy out of 10 mm. yeah well, well I'll be out I'll be out in a few days anyway I think I've only got two days left so it's all good great well we look forward to hearing all about your bike packing trip that's happening in a couple of weeks uh, we'll do a pod before then probably we can do an update of what your how your what your plans are in detail and there should be another Goodwood or something under under wraps yeah, done I can watch the- plus Bike Park Wales mm. we'll talk about me jumping over Seb the build up to that <laughs> we could do a live you can we'll take dr five and you can do the. we'll do a live <laughs> and then it'll be us some a and e you crush legs I'm like a, yeah i'm like a toothpaste <laughs> <laughs> right well cheers everyone thanks for uh joining us and uh until next time stay safe stay sendy <laughs>
Oh, almost scored another goal. Never. Not Sorry. going past the Danish wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so what we'll do, uh, half an hour of chat, what? quick gin ton, yeah. another half an hour of chat, <laughs> <laughs> then we will get out of it. <sighs> Harry, I'm excited for the football, are you? I mean, yes. let's have another gin ton. Finish your gin ton. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the zip I have really like a zip. I've, my, out, I've I held, sent I held... all my alcohol home. So I have oh. no alcohol. I mean, Deliveroo, they can go to corner shops, can't they? But I feel like having alcohol whilst having coronavirus is probably not the smartest move. Okay, A, Harry, you don't know. Harry, A, you don't have coronavirus. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't have it. No, I, it, it's transpired. Have, things have transpired. Have you had a text from the HS saying you have coronavirus? <laughs> No, but I was in the same bed as someone that then... Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! oh! Sorry. I, your one stuff. is slightly behind us. So it's really funny. Uh. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we weren't at the overhead kick, by the way. <laughs> so I think I'm a bit fucked. Just shagging people with coronavirus, like some sort of leprosy. Well, obviously mother. I didn't know, Sam, did I? I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> got I so. like, is go. that worse than an STI? Or did does, you... it, does it now count as an STI? My question is, <laughs> did you put the lateral flow test little thingy down the end of your penis and then swab it? <laughs> uh, yeah, do you know what they call that? that? They call that an oil test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's exactly what I did. An oil test. <laughs> <laughs> dip it once, wipe it. And then... yeah. The old dipstick. Yeah. Mm. That's amazing. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Right, we can't use any of that. Oh! Oh! Oh Get the ball! Don't give it back to him, Casper. Don't let him. Oh, shit. (laughs) Oh, shit. Damn right. Get a bit on that. Nah. How many goals has he scored? He's a machine, that man. He's golden boot, though, he must be. Ronaldo's on five, would not he? So he must be up to four. Four Got a shit haircut. You should get double for... Halfway oh. <laughs> That was lovely. That was he, quite a nice he is, he, He's going to a big European club in the summer. He's going to oh, be. Oh, Casper, he'll be livid about that. So he's going to be. <laughs> um, do you remember the James Rodriguez? James? Yes. Colombia. Colombia. Who now plays for Everton. Yes. So he was like amazing, wasn't he, in the world? Scored club. that worldie of yeah. a volley and went, instantly they were like, bye, 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 bye. Then went to uh, Real Madrid and just did nothing for like four years. Yeah. Everton. He's a beautiful man as well. So he, so he's what? He's the third choice striker at Everton now. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Behind Stephen Naismith. <laughs> <laughs> right, Seb, you do the gin tons. Yeah, okay. Do you know what we also talked about the other day? It was, um, it, was, it was about the South African game again with the the, the dance and the, and the amazing goal. What was that? In the World Cup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it said, do you remember Stephen Pinar? Pinar. Yeah. He played in that South African team at Everton <laughs> that same time. <laughs> right, Jim. Right. There's no ice. That, does, that does literally does not bother me. I drink lukewarm water for fun, so I'm not fast. Uh, so, Harry, was this young lady from the hockey team? Yeah, now all of hockey have got Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, were I'm you, not joking. Were you having days, a fun time with this lady and there are other people also having fun times around and near you? No, no, no. no. Hockey so orgy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 45 people in one. In my, if you fit 45 <laughs> people in my room, I'd be very happy. No, it was we had a hockey party and I think every, like, within the space of two days, I, I'd say about 40 people have tested positive. <laughs> Oh, shit. And I'm still negative, but, I mean, if I am negative after that, that is unbelievable form, let's be honest. Then but you are Mr. Immune. <laughs> I am Jesus. If Have I you had any it. vaccine yet? None. Okay. But I have had it because Seb gave it to me as a gift, so. <laughs> Unconfirmed. Yeah. No, it's not unconfirmed. He, he's blaming you. He's saying that he's, he, you Seb, gave it to him. Yeah, he did. Don't give me that. Made up, he got coronavirus. Hundred percent, he did. Not even, not even a single bit of doubt. We think it was you that gave it to us. (laughs) That's that's (laughs) that's not true. That is not true. 
of all my um, of all my contacts, that's yeah. that's the only one I can. That be fateful sure. night. Yeah. That's <laughs> that fateful night fixing my <laughs> my break cable. <laughs> no, you Which gave one? it to me because I didn't see anyone apart from, from you. When was this? The second time. The first, what do you mean the second time? I've only had it once, the potentially time, twice. The but... first time in September when I got it. Yeah, and you yeah. gave it to me. No, I'm saying you gave it to me because we podcasted. We podcasted, and apparently I gave it to both of you. Scott no, but... free. No, I think the podcast was after. Uh, um... No, no. The podcast is when I got it. It was like the few days after that. Did we do the... Did I come around yours for the bite and then we did the podcast the day after? Or did we I, podcast I... then? I think... That is going down so well. I feel like a few days apart. What? It's not too cold. Oh, it's so good. It. I could drink so all mate, of it now. I poured Sam a glass of water and he's had one sip from it. He's, he's down two gin cans. <laughs> 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 it's been in, in two hours. <laughs> this is going to be a good podcast. <laughs> uh, right. Let's get started. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs>